looking to dig themselves out of an 0-2 start to the season. They host Minnesota at Memorial Stadium. 15 Illini out due to injuries, COVID, or contact tracing. Brandon Peters still out after testing positive for COVID-19. So Karan Taylor gets the job today, making his first career start. The Gophers also looking to go for their first win of the season. They jump to an early two-score lead. Tanner Morgan finds Rashad Bateman in the end zone. And just like that, it's a 14 nothing Illini already down four defensive backs heading into this one and they lose another one when Derek Smith is ejected for targeting and the Gophers they take advantage scoring again as Muhammad Ibrahim finds his way into the end zone Minnesota leaves leads excuse me 21 nothing and the Illini respond here Mike Epstein gives them a little life takes it 63 yards the junior running back had just 63 yards total against Purdue last week and that was the longest play from scrimmage for the Illini this season and he finishes the job jumping into the end zone to get the Illini on the board for the first time they make it 21-7 the Gophers restore a 20 point 21 point lead at half as they find the end zone again it's their man Ibrahim he scores his second touchdown of the game forcing his way in and he adds another one in the third quarter to make it 35-7 but the Illini defense starting to show up in the fourth Devin Witherspoon picks off more Morgan for his first career interception. Orange and blue not going away without a fight. And with 11 minutes to go, Taylor throws it down the field to Joshi Matur Bebe, who takes it to the house for his first touchdown of the year. The Illini cut the lead to 21. But Mo Ibrahim continues to mop the floor with the Illinois defense, adding his fourth touchdown of the game. The Gophers miss the extra point, and it'll be 41 14. It ends there. Illinois drops to 0 three on the season. Mike Epstein led them with 108 yards and one touchdown. Ibrahim single-handedly outshined the Illini with his four touchdowns and 224 rushing yards. Not the place Illinois hoped to be in Lovey Smith's fifth year with the program. And WCI3 Sports Director Brett Behrens has more from Memorial Stadium. In a game many pegged as a shootout, only one team came to play. Minnesota racked up 340 first half yards, scoring 28 points, essentially putting the game on ice. The Gopher defense came in as statistically one of the worst in the country, allowing nearly nine and a half yards per play. Yet the Illini offense never found its rhythm. We're just a lot better team than what we've been playing now. And it's just frustrating, it's just disappointing. Quarterback Karan Taylor made his first career start, but unlike a week ago, the Peoria native had a harder time getting into a groove. Taylor finished with just six completions for 106 yards and a fourth quarter TD pass. It's always tough when you get behind and try to play catch up. You never want to get too far behind where a game is seems like it's out of reach but you never stop fighting to the end. The offense struggled, but the defense was worse, allowing 556 total yards, a staggering 325 of them on the ground. 12 Illini penalties totaling 120 yards made it even tougher. I mean, when you it was just sloppy play all around. Like, we weren't physical, it was sloppy. That's going to get you penalties. I'm the head football coach. Everything comes back to me. Yeah, it, comes up, it goes back to our leaders, too, that's been around here for a period of time. And everybody else that played out there today, it's on all of us. It always starts with me. And believe me, we'll do something about it. Illinois starts the season 0-3 for the first time since 1997. That was Ron Turner's first year here in Champaign. And now they head on the road for back-to-back -back games away from Memorial Stadium starting next week with a trip to Rutgers. Reporting for your Illini Nation, Brett Barron's WCIA 3 Sports. All right, Brett, thanks. Now here's a peek at the Big Ten standings. Hard to believe Indiana is at the top of the Big Ten East along with Ohio State in the West, Northwestern all alone there at 3-0. and And Illinois joins Penn State in a three-game hole to start the season. So the Big Ten kind of upside down this season, it seems like, with so many teams just, I mean, it's an unprecedented season, Jen, with all that's going on, so uh, we should be expecting kind of some weird things to happen. <laughs>